The Miller Center from the University of Virginia is happily at the RNC, the Republican National Convention this year. The Miller Center's undertaken a two-year-long project called The First Year, about the first years of presidents. And what we're doing is producing policy papers as well as historical papers, placing presidential first years in historical context. We take the best of academic research, particularly on public policy, and the presidency in particular, which is our best expertise, and we bring it to the public and to policymakers. I'm Larry Sabato. I'm director of the Center for Politics at the University of Virginia. This is my 19th national political convention. I've been going to them in both parties since 1976, and it has enriched my teaching and my scholarship. When the framers created our Constitution, they didn't intend to have political parties. In fact, they really were worried about political parties. But what we've discovered is that parties are a way of shaping ideas and shaping a contest of ideas. Ideally, they compromise, they come together, they arrive at a platform that they can agree on. Usually it works reasonably well. Every now and then, the system misfires. They play a, a unifying role if they work properly for the party. So even though people come to the party convention upset, uh, perhaps their nominee didn't get the nomination. The goal of these is to try to unify the party on the way towards running in November in the general election. And so what happens at the convention is the representatives of the people come and they essentially tell the party bosses what's on their mind. And it's fascinating and you never know what's going to happen. Having scholars here from a wide variety of fields at the University of Virginia means the University of Virginia is better off. Our students are better off. It's important that we be here, not just flying the flag for the University of Virginia, but flying the flag for intellectual freedom.